Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the MATLAB programming. Today we will discuss about the SOR method and its MATLAB code. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics Thapa Institute. So what is the SOR is? SOR is abbreviated as the successive over relaxation which is used for finding, uh, finding the solutions of the system of here AX is B which is nothing but the generalization of the gauss seidel method. So whenever we are talking about the AX is B then the go, this SOR method is applicable when the, whenever the coefficient matrix that is AX is B whenever this matrix A is symmetric and the positive definite. But this is not compulsory, it can be worked for even uh, non-symmetric matrix and for the others definite matrix also. So it can be it can be applicable to the all these matrix of the form are there. What is that? In this symmetric matrix that is whenever you have the system of AX is B where A is written like this way and here. What is this SOR method suggested you that you have to decompose this capital A into the three components that is the diagonal entries like here of this this is my diagonal entries and the strictly lower and upper are there. Strictly lower means that is all these diagonal entries are zero and these below's are my lower and this is my upper. Once you will substitute this A in here what will happen this is D plus L of U of X is nothing but B. So I can take D plus L on here so it can be written as like of this. So this is the gauss seidel method. All of you remember that in my last lecture of the gauss seidel you have learned about this. But what is the difference between them is we have to take on this another parameter that is a omega or w called as the relaxation parameter. So whenever omega is 1 you can clearly see that this part will be 0 this is mi minus of u x this becomes the gauss seidel. So what we will discuss what is the relaxation parameter and its property in the couple of slides. So we can find here. So from this can you find the value of the x? You can easily find this is nothing but this is d inverse of b of omega plus of here into x. Here is also d plus omega l of this and of this matrix. So now you can see this part is independent of the x while this is the coefficient of the x. So I can write this in terms of here h of this plus c where h is nothing but my here c is my this one. So this is the general equative scheme of the SOR method. Also if you want to write in terms of the equations you can write like this way. Again clearly sees that whenever you set omega is 1 then this one become the gauss seidel method are there. Now uh, once you will set as a omega what is the range of this omega you can set any of the value which is lies between 0 to 2. Whenever omega is 1 then the SOR method becomes the gauss seidel. Whenever omega is or w is greater than 1 we call as the over relaxation and it is under relaxation when it is less than 1. However, the rate of the convergence of the SOR method is determined with the help of this minus log of w minus 1. Now we know that any of the iterative scheme that is of this form is convergent whenever rho of the h is less than 1. You know what is the rho? Rho is nothing but the spectral radius of the matrix h. How you calculate the spectral radius is that is the maximum eigenvalue of the uh, here maximum real eigenvalues of the matrix H. So once you will know the value of the H so what is the convergence condition for this. So iterative scheme SOR will converge this when the maximum value of this eigenvalue of the H is less than of the one where H is nothing but my here. So we will see how you can solve this problem in the MATLAB programming. So I can explain you with the help of the one example you can generalize them in terms of the any of them. Now I have considered the system of the equations you can easily write this as of the AX is B and initial approximation you can start with as a 0 0 0. So if you solve this problem with the help of either the Gauss elimination or the Gauss Seidel or the Jacobi method or even the simple the direct inverse method you will get the exact solutions are 6 5 and 3. So we will try to solve this with the help of the S1 and we will see how much accuracy are there in our this SOR method. So what you can do is you can start with the MATLAB code you can have to write these three lines. Uh, all of you know that what is the format short if you want to display your results up to the four decimal places clear all whatever you have written in the screen and the CLC is clearing the screen. Now what you can write in the as MATLAB window you have to firstly input the values of the A what is the coefficient you can write this matrix as of this 2 minus 1 0 
माइनस वन टू माइनस वन जीरो माइनस वन टू वट इज द एक्स इज माई एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री एंड वट इज माई बी इज सेवन वन वन सो आई कैन राइट द मेट्रिक्स ए एज टू फर्स्ट रो सेमी कॉलम फॉर द सेकेंड रो एंड सो ऑन सिमिलरली फॉर द मेट्रिक्स बी एंड द इनिशियल अप्रोक्सीमेशन एज सेयर सो वट एवर द प्रॉब्लम यू हैव इफ यू हैव टू कंसिडर द अनदर प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू सिंपली रिप्लेस दिस ए बी एंड एक्स रेस्ट ऑफ द कोड इज रिमेन द सिमिलर नाउ once you will solve the iterative scheme so how many maximum iteration you want so let i say as a 50 you may set instead of the 50 as a 150 that's depending upon your choice and you can set as a maximum allowed error is 10 to the power minus 5 so this is nothing but my here now once you set this initial condition now we can see what is the maximum error allowed what is the meaning of the maximum error is we know the exact answer of this x1 is 5 x2 is my 5 here is my 3 this is the exact answer of this problems are there now how you, if if i get the answer as of say this x x2 as say 4.98 x3 as say 2.95 so what is the error is there so corresponding to them what is the error is error in the x1 is 0.01 what is the error in this case is 0.02 error in this case is 0.05 so what is the maximum error is 0.5 you can see this number is less than 0.5 this is less than 0.5 this is less than or equal to 0.5 so whatever that whatever your required target or you can see the precision you can set as of the maximum error enter the allowed error you can see if i write here you can see this is my a if i write here as a m x x you can set as either as a 0.01 or whatever you want once you will set as a here then you can set as a relaxation parameter omega or w now once we will set here we will check what are the conditions for this what is that size of the a comma 1 that is the number of the rows this is the number of the columns so always remember that whenever you are talking about this system this a will be a square matrix so what is the meaning of that that is the number of the row and number of the column must be same so i write the condition not equal to if this condition is satisfied that is if size of the a comma 1 you can see if i write for you here size of the a comma 1 how many rows of this they are 3 so you can see size of this are my 3 what is the size of the a comma 2 this is again 3 now they are equal but i put the condition as not equal if they are not equal then you have to put the error matrix should be the square similarly you can check for the matrix b you can see a x b what is the requirement for this b it should be of n cross 1 column matrix it should be the size of this b and that is the number of the rows of this b and the number of the rows of this a are same so if size of the that is the number of the rows remember that one is always for the row is not equal to the size of the a and size of size of the b that is the number of the columns is one is not equal to then again it is a error similarly for the initial vector you know what is the a x is b what is the size of this x again it is n cross 1 so size of the this is not equal to the size of this and the size of the column of the x is not equal to 1 then again there is an error of this so that is a input error sir so that's the optional for you if you want to put them as a more generalization then you can use them here now this is my s var method so in order to see here we need the l we need the d we need the w and we need the u so w we already defined in our last slide like here now we can define the value of a as of this so i can write the d so you can see diagonal of a so if i if i just clear this a is my here if i write here as a di diagonal of a it will give you the diagonal and twist 2 2 and 2 but how you can write in terms of the matrix because your target is to write this in terms of here this is my diagonal and twist so you have to put an again as a diagonal of this like here diagonal of whatever the answer you got or you can say the diagonal of a or you can also know if i write here as a 1 2 3 it means you can write this as a diagonal matrix of this you can also see if i write here as a minus 5 then it means the diagonal entries of the 1 minus 5 3 
you can increase the size of this you can see 1 minus 5 3 and 6 now how you can define the value of l l is nothing but my strictly the diagonal entries are my 0 and the, this value is my l rest all are my 0 so i can say try l you can see i can write here as triangular lower of a you can see this is the triangular lower of this matrix a this is matrix a but i need this 2 should be 0 b the diagonal entry should be 0 so i can subtract minus of d from here so you can see if i write here as a try l minus of d now you can see this is the diagonal entry similarly if you write as the upper matrix try of u you can see try of u of a you can see these are the upper triangular matrix but again the diagonal entries are there so what i can do is i can subtract the diagonal entries which is here since i represented diagonal entries in the form of the capital d set that's why i subtracted here now once i know the d l and u i can substitute the value here i can write the value of the h here what is that this is the inverse how you write the matrix inverse is i n v d plus omega l multiply 1 minus of w of d minus w j similarly you can write as a value of the c that is a w d plus omega l inverse that is the inverse of this and b so you can see once i will write for here as h you will get this matrix once you will write this value c is as here now what is the remaining side are there you can store these values are here now you can check for the convergence what is the convergence condition for this is maximum eigenvalue of the h so i can find the eigens value of the h by using eig you can see what is the h is my here i can write has eigen value of h is this how you can find the maximum of this i can write the eigen max of this you can see this value is less than one or greater than one depending on the problem of your system of equation i can store this e as convergence system now i can store start the uh, equations i itr is represent for the equations i can store all these values in terms of the y that is only for the printing purpose now what is the convergence condition is whenever this e is less than of the one then the convergence will be met otherwise convergence not met if convergence will not met what will happen it can method is not convergent you can display your error what will happen if it converges then we have to find the new solution with the help of here now you can see you have to compute the value of the h you already compute the value of c this value is already stored in the form of the x0 as the initial vector so i can put as the condition what is the meaning of this line so i can compute the error like here we know exact answer of this problem is my here this is the exact answer now say after the first iteration you will get the answer as say 5.15 x2 say 5.05 x3 will be say my 0. Point, oh sorry 2.75 so what is the error in the x1 6 minus 0.7 so this is my 0. 0.85 is my error x2 is my 0. 0.05 either the minus or plus i have to use as the absolute sign error of the x3 is my 0. 0.25 so you can see we can set whatever the maximum error i can set so you can see whatever the i have set as a 0 0.05 so is this value is less than of the 0 0.01 no is this value is less than of the 0 0.01 no this value is less than of the 0 0.01 no so it means i have to find the absolute value we will find the error less than of the max error how many are there so we will find their sum and this is the size of the matrix a3 so how many are there this is nothing are there so that's a zero is zero is uh, how many are there these are not satisfied so zero is not equal to three so we can move on here so whenever this condition will uh, satisfied we will terminate them so that's the purpose of this condition sum of the absolute error which is less than of here like here if i show you if i put up as here can i write here as absolute of error which is less than of max error so you can see what is the max error is 0 0.01 is this less than yes this is yes this is yes so what is that this i can write here as 1 1 1 now if you put as a sum of this what is the sum of this that's my 3 so if i say this is my 3 what is the size of this this is also 3 so once they are equal they will terminate them 
So once they are satisfied here, you can update the value of x, hx plus c. We will compute the error as x whatever the new values and whatever the previous value and we can uh, update the previous values as of the new value. And then we can terminate, we can update the equation counter as itr plus 1. We can save all these values in terms of the y and then we will set whether uh, our check whether the equation reaches the maximum set equation then you can break the statement and then go back otherwise you can continue that. So this is the MATLAB code of this SOR method. You can print the solutions. Uh, the final solution will be printed after this x outputs are there. You can see the whatever the answer you obtained here this is there. You can see if I go for you for the MATLAB you can see I have written the same code whatever I have explained for you here I can consider this. Now if I run this file for you you can see here what is the maximum allowed error. So say I can set as a 0 0.04. What is the value of the omega you can take say omega 0.8. Now you can see the method converges after the 12th equation. You can see here, you can see here since the exact answer is my 6, 5 and 3 which is near to them. So you can see this is the x minus, what is the error of this is? You can say here, all these numbers are less than of the 0 0.04. So that's why termination criteria is satisfied. If you want to run again, say I can set as a 0 0.02. I can set as a 0.5. Now you can see the equations converges as a after the 22 steps. So based on this omega, you can set as a number of the equation. You can see when I set 0.5, solution converges after the 22 equations. If I choose again, say convergence is my here. If I set as a point of 3, less than of the 0.5, then you can see converges after the 30 equations, which is nearest to the 0 0.6, 5 and 3. Let me one more time, if I say, if I want to convergence to be say 0 0.0003 and I set allowed error as a relaxation 0.6, then you can see exact answer is my 6, 5 and 3 which is very near to the solution with the accuracy of here with the parameters 0.6. After the convergence of the point 35 equations, if I set the same equation error again, if I change the value of this, let me show you last time again say here if I set as a 0.9 you can see now it converges as a 19 step which is less than of the 35. If I change this again for you like this way if I set as a equations max matter same if I set as a 0.2 which is very less you can see it converges after the 50 equations are there. So this is the way you can think about this relaxation parameters and their equation steps for this convergence criteria. This is the end of this MATLAB SOR code. If you want to find some other methods like of the Gauss elimination, Gauss Jordan, Jacobi, Seidel's, all are available in this channel name Dr. Harishkar, playlists are there. Also you can find the Simpson, Composite, Newton's method, Euler's method, Range Kuta, Lagrange interpolation, all are available in this uh, playlist, numerical methods and the MATLAB code. All you can find through this YouTube channel link. You can subscribe the channel and share this video with your friend. Till then. Best of luck students, happy learning.